Hello everyone. I am so glad you have joined me today. Check out this cute card with the retro flowers. Where do you see what I used for that? And I did the inside in the envelope. Join me in the craft room and I'll show you how. For today's card, I am using tabs for everything. I'm specifically using your adorable hello I'm going to use this that's like a date thing in a different way and this image. We'll see how this turns out. I have to use Grandi Granny Apple Green ink. I have a piece of Whisper White and this one is actually, because I cut it way down, three and a fourth by four and a, three and a fourth by four and a half. And this one is three and three fourths by five and then I have my card base which is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a fourth and my envelope okay let's get started and the first thing I'm gonna do <clears throat> actually I think I'm gonna do the other image first I'm gonna stamp this on the bottom And I'm going to vary the heights for some interest. All right, so I've got that done. Now I'm going to take this image. And the key to this is making sure that your um, pieces, your slash marks, go up. If they went down, I don't know what it would look like. And I'm going to pull in a piece of scrap paper and... I'm going to stamp this right underneath it like so and I'm making sure this tip goes onto the circle like so and I think I got some little retro flowers there what do you think I thought it looked like it to me anyway something different all right now I'm gonna take oh I closed that up and I need it I'm gonna take my hello and I'm gonna stamp it up here in the corner and then what I did was I took your adorable and put it on the same block I just need to make sure that it's on there straight and I think it is and I'm gonna put it underneath and so it says hello you're adorable I'm going to add this to here let me close up my ink so I don't make a mess I'm gonna add this onto my background piece now this is again a clean and simple card um, perfect for a beginning stamper and I got quite a bit of glue down there I need to be careful I'll wipe some off there so that it doesn't ooze out all over all right like that then what I'm gonna take and do to give the center of those flowers some interest I'm going to take a block and I'm going to put some ink on it and I'm going to use my Wink of Stella pen and I'm going to pick up some of that ink and color in the center of my flower. I need to keep that darker spot in the center because then it would look like the center of a flower. Which is fine. All 
There we go. Isn't that cute? Now, you have to take your Winko Stella and scribble because you don't want the green to go up in there because then you'll have a green wink of Stella whether you want it or not. You know, if you want a green one, that's fine. So, there we go. So, I'm going to wave this in the air <clears throat> a little bit. I'm going to bring in my card base and I use my bone folder for a crisp fold that out of the way before I put something in it. And I'm going to take my glue. I'm going to add my card base. Now if you want to step this up, you can very easily emboss the background of one of your pieces, whether it be the green or the card front. You've got some sequins. You could add sequins. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some There we go. Oh yes, perfect. Now it looks like a flower, doesn't it? All right, I need some more big ones though. Here we go. Okay. Get this on here like so. Can't pick it up. Oh shoot. There we go. There it is. Quick and easy. And I did the inside in the envelope. To get the lighter color, it wasn't working real well on the envelope because it's a different kind of paper. So I took a little and put like a drop of water on there. And then I used my Wink of Stella pen and spread it around so it came out lighter. Um, I don't know if my Wink of Stella is ever going to be clear again, but that's okay because it was almost empty. Let's see what we're going to do next week. All right. <clears throat> Ooh, timeless textures and Heather Highland. I hope you'll join me next week for Timeless Textures and Highland Heather. If you like my project, make sure you subscribe to my channel using the button below. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. YouTube likes comments. Don't forget my Facebook group. I am on um, hiatus, I guess you could say, as I'm moving. Hopefully, I will be back in two weeks' time. But if you go over and join, I'll be sharing some things that I have that I've done um, ahead of time to prepare. If you do not have a demonstrator, and would, I would love to be your online demonstrator, send me a message. And if you need catalogs, I can send them to, send them to you. Have a great day.